Well, what is going on guys? Back with another video and today's video is about Sheffield Wednesday's relegation battle and has Neil Thompson got it in him to get our club out of the relegation zone. Before we get into today's video, I just wanted to say a massive thank you on the support of last video and we're on 71 subscribers, we're on our way to 100 and I just say thank you for all the support. While recording this video, we're currently sat 22nd in the championship, only one point behind Rotherham and three points behind Coventry and Derby. However, Birmingham are below us, but on the same amount of points, but they have played one extra game and Wickham sitting 24th on 19 points are already relegated and that's a fact. The fact, I am not playing mind games, I am talking about facts. Let's talk about Neil Thompson's positives and negatives. First, let's talk about Neil Thompson's negatives. He hasn't really got any high league experience. He's only managed York City, Scarborough and Boston United and I think he was a player manager. Also, he doesn't have a plan B. Like when you saw at Millwall, we was winning 1-0 and the goal with the penalty and then another goal. And we just didn't have another plan to fall on because we just looked useless and clueless and we just didn't know what to do. And I think that's one of the main negatives Neil Thompson has, that he just doesn't have a plan B. I think what we're going for is a simple but effective way about crossing it in boxing up for Rhodes or Patterson to get onto it. It has worked, but the two occasions it hasn't, it's kind of embarrassed us. Let's talk about Neil Thompson's positives as there's more than the negatives. Alright, he has managed York City, Scarborough and Boston United. So he has got some manager experience. And since he took over, he's won us 15 points. And the only team with more is Brentford and that's impressive. Under Thompson, we've played 7, won 5 and only lost 2. And his average points per game is 2.34 and a win percentage of 71%. He also has the players smiling and look passionate. He's got Rhodes and Patterson firing, and Harrison Reach look more comfortable and know what to do with the ball. And he's got the defence solid. And Kieran Westwood looks like a solid keeper again. He has also took more points in less games than Monk and Pulis did, and also scoring more goals. Overall, I think Thompson's done a brilliant job and just should stick with the role he's got. I don't think we should make him manager, but I think we should just keep him as it is because it's working. Why fix him if it ain't broke? Our next few games are Stoke, Birmingham City, Brentford, Luton and Rotherham. I think we have to win at Stoke mainly for the points, but just to spite Morgan Fox and Stephen Fletcher. Or Birmingham City because they're in a relegation battle and we desperately need the points to get out of it. I don't really expect a result at Brentford because they're at the top of the championship and they may be getting a result at Luton but a must win at Rotherham because it's a relegation rival but also a local derby. You can finally find that positivity around the club again. The only negative we have is all the people that are saying Chad's area out and stuff. I don't really disagree with it, but I don't really agree with it. Everyone has their own opinion. But as a whole, every Sheffield Wednesday fan wants the best for our club. And of course, we just want to stay in this league. Because the Championship is one of the best leagues in world football, in my opinion. And if we go to League One, I think it might take a while to get back out of it again. And I think Chan Zeri would have enough of us. And I do we really want to risk getting a, an owner that's useless and doesn't put money into the club? Chanziri has put money into the club, but it's not been the best. However, I do think he has the club's best interest at heart. And I think we can get out of this mess and stay up in the league. We just have to stick by Thompson and get the results. And the players need to play for the badge and just get the results that the fans need. So overall, I think he can do it. And Thompson, we trusted you. And that's it for today's video. It's been a bit of a short one, but I just wanted to express my feelings about Neil Thompson and hopefully stay up. And as always, see you to the next one. Bye.